Okay, okay, okay. Icorn Swaps 2 has just been released and we have all the new tokens, not all of them, the first patch, and we have all the new icons to have a look at. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. Let's start off with the tokens. Uh, we have Bundesliga, which is win four rival matches using nine first owned Bundesliga players. Uh, we have four rival match wins using nine first only Liga players. Then we have win five rival matches using 11 English players in your starting squad. Four of them must be first owned. So pretty interesting. Um, these are obviously the six new uh, tokens they were talking about because EA meant six new tokens, not six additional tokens, unfortunately, which means my prediction was way off. It was just way off. Um, anyway, the offline ones are Liga BB... BBVA, MX, and MLS win six squad battle matches uh, using either six, sorry, using six La Liga, BBVA, MX players and five MLS players in your starting squad. Uh, win six squad battle matches using 11 Saudi Professional League players in your starting squad. And win six squad battle matches using, oh, sorry, on legendary difficulty using 11 Italian players. The other two are on world class. They're actually quite hard, in my opinion. I'd say it's definitely this, this last one, this win 11 matches, sorry, win six matches using 11 Italians on legendary. It's very difficult. The average player will not be able to do this. I'm uh, quite disappointed that EA have made it this difficult for, uh, for for these cards. But I guess we'll have a look at the uh, icons now straight away. And I'll tell you sort of which ones I believe you should go with and which ones you should sort of steer clear from. Or steer, steer clear? Steer, stay clear from? I don't know how that goes. Anyway, we're going to start off with Bobby Moore. This is for five tokens. The card, to be honest, isn't amazing. Would be all right as a CDM with a, with a few chem styles on, but in my opinion, it's a pretty average card. His prime moments card last year was good, but had way better stats. That card for me, I wouldn't waste five tokens on, to be honest. Um, right card as a CDM card. Again, it's a bit too slow for me. I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, waste five tokens on this one either. Um... 48 balance, 64 agility is alright, 48 balance is pretty awful, um, he's got okay short and long passing stats, uh, but I don't know, for me, his dribbling stats and, and, and sort of just his pace and stuff like that isn't great for me, uh, I would say stay clear of, uh, of Rykard, uh, Hierro, now this card, I'm a big fan of this card, for 6 tokens, I would go with uh, Fernando Hierro, I think this is a fantastic option, um, I've used him before, he feels quick at defence, he feels strong, he feels great, uh, great uh, medium high work rates, so he's going to stay back quite a lot for you guys um you know 75 pace is decent add on maybe an anchor or a shadow he's gonna feel even faster uh 70 agility and 80 balance is actually really good for a center back um fantastic defensive stats bar slide tackling uh good strength good jumping um his stamina is, is good enough and his aggression is decent as well so for six tokens i would look into it obviously the 24 tokens we have i would uh potentially really focus on going for a hiero um especially if you don't plan on doing a whole lot of tokens this could be a great icon center back for you guys then we've got Edwin van der Sar. Now, this card actually is really good. A lot of people have used this card uh, last year. Uh, I loved Edwin van der Sar last year, and he's a really, really good goalkeeper. Uh, for six tokens, if you're looking to get a goalkeeper, I would definitely go for it. Obviously, he's got great links to it, like Van Dyke, for example, or just any anyone as icons linked to every, uh, everyone. But um, he's got the strong link to Van Dyke as well. Um, and here has got a strong link to De Gea as well. So, you know, you've got two very good uh, links there with these players, uh, both viable options. On to the next page now. For 10 tokens, we have Raul's, I think this is his middle card. Um, and this card looks good. You know, very, very good dribbling. Good stamina, good jumping, good heading accuracy. Uh, okay strength. Um, he's quick. Great finishing, great composure. This is definitely a card you, you could look at, uh, whether you need either a cam or a center forward in the squad. As an out-and-out -out striker, I personally didn't, particularly like him as a, a lone striker what I did like him was was a um, was a, a paired striker a duo striker he was great alongside a striker um, so potentially look at that there's a few links you can get into there as well and obviously being an icon he links to everyone he's a very good option too at 10 tokens EA yeah, have done great at the lower to mid tier icons this, this icon swaps I feel like this card looks great as a CDM if you're looking for a great CDM um, his agility and balance lets him down a little bit but apart from that good pace Good passing, good shooting, good defending, good physical, uh, decent dribbling as well. Not not horrendous, but not amazing. Um, this card would be a great CDM as a centre back. I'm not too sure. You know, high high medium, five eleven, um, could be good. But I think as a CDM, he'll be fantastic. Uh, definitely worth looking into. Um, he also, of course, gets links with Van Dijk or um, you know any sort of Dutch players really. Um, then we have Seidorf, another Dutch centre mid here. Um, 
This card looks great. For for 10 tokens, I don't know about a baby icon. I don't know if maybe he might get a little bit bullied. He's got high, high work rates. He's got 4 star, 4 star. 86 stamina is good, 84 strength. The card itself looks really good. Um, I hope that it plays well in game. I've never actually used this card, so I wouldn't be able to comment on it. But for 10 tokens, it looks like a really solid sentiment option. So I think I'd definitely look into it as a, as a 10 token option. Um, Pirates is a left mid. I'd steer clear personally. Um, you know, he's fast. He's got decent shooting. He's got okay dribbling. Uh, he's got decent stamina. You know, his, his balance lets him down a little bit, but I don't know. I just don't think it's worth it for 10 tokens, to be honest. Uh, I think there's definitely better options to come in the future. Uh, on to the next page, uh, Nikata. I actually have used this card. This card is a very versatile midfielder. I think they've got him a little bit mixed up though i think this is a seven or eight token card this is definitely not an 11 token card for me um i wouldn't go with this if i if i were you i think that actually might be his prime um i think his baby's 85 his middle's 86 and that's his prime but even still as a prime i think 11 tokens is a bit too much uh we have baby socrates at 11 tokens as well this card i think will be really good the only problem is his balance um but he's got 80 pace which is good for a midfielder 87 dribbling which is decent um good passing great shooting great physical he's six foot four as well five star weak foot four star skills he could be a very good option i just think that i'm not sure maybe if you guys if you guys like dribbling around in circles you like holding the ball with the midfielders this won't be the option for you um but if you like having big brute midfielders this is definitely a great option for you get this great links as well being brazilian um i personally loved this card last year uh obviously the gameplay is a little bit different this year i might look into actually doing this i might do this one because i i'm a big fan of the doctor i love socrates uh both I, I loved him in real life i've seen obviously i never actually managed to watch him live unfortunately it was way past my time but uh i used to watch a lot of highlights and a lot of highlight shows sort of on a saturday morning um and i used to see a lot of highlights of socrates he's a very very good player uh and i think he'd be a definitely a great addition to a lot of people's squads it's whether it's just basically how you play personal preference comes down to this card um but i i think i'll be doing him he's definitely a very good option then we have zambrotta now for 11 tokens you've got a right back here that maybe will last you for quite a long time uh obviously a lot of people did uh zanetti last year last year last icon swap sorry um the thing is it's a good card. Do not get me wrong. Five star weak foot, four star skills, high medium, 5'11, 91 pace. Um, he's got very good, well rounded stats. The only problem is, is that I think a lot of people would have done Zanetti that were committed to the last icon swaps. And I also think that there'll be better right backs come out in the near future. Um, obviously, we have a whole heap of different players. A lot of people used, for, for example, Nelson Semedo already that. He's not obviously as good as Zambrotta, but for what, like, you know, wasting, in my opinion, 11 tokens, I think you want to go with a better right back. Um, so I actually might stay clear of this Zambrotta. If this was his left back card, I think I'd complete it for 11 tokens. I think this is a, a nine token player right here. Uh, and I think the two tokens could be spent elsewhere. Then we have uh, Luis Figo's 90 card. I actually really enjoyed this card. It's not worth it for, uh, for 13 tokens. That's a lot of tokens. That's almost... No, that's sorry. That's over half of your tokens. In my opinion, not worth it. Uh, I would stay clear. I enjoyed the card. And obviously, if you're trying to get links to Ronaldo or someone like that, it's definitely a good card you could possibly look at. I just think he's a little bit too overvalued. I think that 13 tokens is a bit too much. Um, we have Sol Campbell's Prime card at uh, 14 tokens. It's a good card. It's a really good card. I don't know if I will be doing it or not. And the only reason why I, I, I don't know if I'll be doing it or not, I've really gotten used to players like Road to the Final, Eder Militao, um, and I've got used to Baby Cadavara. I am really used to small defenders with good dribbling and good passing. So Campbell doesn't tick those boxes. If you're someone that likes to sort of sit a bit deeper and you like someone that's quite fast, but also just really strong and really good at tackling, this is the man for you. He'll be fantastic for that, uh, in my opinion. Uh, 14 tokens is quite good value, if you ask me. It's quite fair value, I'd say. Um, he's definitely a, a good evaluation if you guys are looking for, for someone like that, of that nature. I'd say he's definitely a, a good value at 14 tokens. Then we have, I believe, Prime uh, Lineker. That looks like a good card. Don't get me wrong. High, low work rates, which is perfect for a striker. He's fast. 95 finishing. A6 composure is good. Uh, agility and balance is decent. He's got three-star skills and four-star weak foot. The three-star skills lets him down for me. Uh, I personally won't be doing this at 14 tokens. I just don't need a striker, and I think three-star skills lets him down. Um, I think that for for the, the amount of tokens, I'd actually go with Raul, personally. Um, unless you're playing him as a, a lone striker, I'd say Raul is a better option here for less tokens. Then we have Lauren Blanc's baby card at 14 tokens, which is a very good option, actually. 
This is a fantastic holding midfielder. Gets really, really good links with other players. Um, being French links with so many different players. Mbappe, Kante, Sissoko, etc, etc. Um, and he's a fantastic holding mid. Medium high work rate at 6 foot 4. He'll be a fantastic CDM for a lot of squads. At 14 tokens, in my opinion, it's a little bit overpriced. I would say 12 tokens, 11 tokens is a bit fairer for this baby card. Um, given that we have, obviously, other options later on down the, uh, the Icon Swap's path. But... You know, I think that EA have tried to make it so you can complete maybe one or two solid midfielders. Maybe you can complete like a Socrates and uh, uh, and someone else or, or a Baby Blanc and someone else. I think they've tried to EA it a little bit where they kind of make it so you can't get three really good icons. You can only get one or two maybe, um, which I think is a bit unfair. I would say if you're really looking for a CDM and he fits the bill perfectly, go for him because he's a really good card in game. But I would say maybe if you can hold off, maybe go for one of the end tokens or the end players, sorry, with the tokens. Uh, or I'd say go with with someone that's a little bit cheaper or just buy somebody and, and get someone else with the tokens. I don't think that he's worth, um, personally, I don't think he's worth 14 tokens, to be honest. I think that for 14 tokens, you can go and get yourself like, uh, you can literally go and get yourself like a, uh, for 15, sorry, you can go and get yourself, or 16, you can get Hierro um, and Raul, or you can get like uh, Ronald Koeman and and uh, and Hierro, you can get like Van der Sar and Koeman, you can get like, you can get a whole heap of different plays in my opinion for the same amount of tokens pretty much, so personally wouldn't bother. Uh, Mid-icon pack over here now for 18 tokens, is it worth it? I don't know, here's the thing, if you're a gambling man, go for it. If you're not, I wouldn't go for it, personally. That's all I'm going to say. That is all I'm going to say. Because you could get some incredible cards. Hullet would be the biggest one you've ever seen in your entire life. Um, but, obviously, you could also get uh, middle Van der Sar, who you could have just unlocked for for six tokens kind of thing. So, that's my opinion on that. We have Prime Hernandez at 19 tokens. This is actually a pretty good value uh, uh, unlock here. Four-star skills, 93 agility, 85 balance, 91 finishing, 86 composure, 82 stamina, 89 jumping, 93 heading accuracy. This is a really, really good card. I think this card will perform really well. Uh, at 19 tokens, I think that's quite fair as well. I personally would look into this if you're looking for a striker. That's a good option. Now, there's, there's options as well. Um, you know, we have at 19 tokens, we have a John Barnes at left wing. Um, in my opinion, not worth it. I just don't think it's necessarily worth it. I think that... Um, Personally, I, d I don't think that it's it, it, it's great value at left wing. I would go, if you're going to spend 19 tokens, I'd spend the extra token and get this Del Piero card. I believe this is his uh, middle Del Piero. It's a good card. It's a really good card. This will be a great cam. Uh, for me, if I was going to do 20 tokens, I would look between Hernandez and, and Del Piero, to be honest. Uh, they both look great. But, I mean, me personally, I'll tell you my actual choice um, of what I'll go with for this icon swaps. 21 tokens, Baby Ronaldinho is a massive ripoff for me. A massive ripoff. This card, do not... Please do not get blindsided by the fact that it's Ronaldinho. I get he's an amazing player in real life, or was an amazing player, um, and he's a really likable player. This card is very, very underwhelming. Very underwhelming. I have this card untradeable from the base icon SPC, and I've used it for a lot of games, and he's very underwhelming. He doesn't feel very fast. He runs out of stamina very quickly. His passing is pretty awful. His shooting is pretty uh, underwhelming. He doesn't get into very good positions. He just His work rates don't work for the game. Um, Five-star skills is great. His dribbling feels great, but that's the only thing he's got going for him. I personally wouldn't bother. I wouldn't. Please, honestly, if you're going to go, if you're going to unlock that amount of tokens, go the extra mile and get yourself a fantastic CDM. Prime Essien for me at 20, is it 22 tokens is good value or 23 tokens is good value for me. This card will last you the rest of FIFA. This will be a very, very good CDM for the rest of FIFA. Uh, a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic card. I would personally go for this card if you're going to go for any of them. He will be unreal for the rest of FIFA. Baby Vieira is fantastic as well. If you're looking for someone that obviously you need French links, it could be a good option. Obviously, this is a million coin plus card. Uh, for me, I don't think he'll last that much longer. I think that Kante does a good a job. I think Footman Sissoko does as good a job. I really do. If you've got either of those, I wouldn't bother going with Vieira personally. I think that this should have been a 16 or 17 token unlock, not a 23. I just don't think it's worth the, the time and the effort. I think Essien definitely... I'm not a big fan of that Patrick Vieira card, though. Now, uh, which ones am I going to go for and which ones you should go for, in my opinion? Um, for me, I'm a little bit torn. I would say, out of 23 tokens, uh, I would say 
Baby Hierro is a definite, definite unlock. He's going to be a fantastic centre back for a, a while yet, I think. Um, and he's just got he's got that build, that body type that's really, really good at centre back. I would also say uh, Clarence Seedorf will be a good unlock at ten tokens, um, or I would say eleven tokens at Socrates. I think that for me, it's going to be a hard choice. If I could, if I, if I. Go and unlock. If I go and unlock uh, all 23, oh sorry, 24 tokens for me, it's going to be Socrates. Um, it's going to be Socrates, uh, Fernando Hierro, and Van der Sar. If I don't go and do that, it'll probably be Socrates and uh, Hierro. Um, but I am looking at, I am looking at Coman, I am looking at Raúl, I am looking at Clarence Seedorf. I'm thinking maybe going with Socrates and, and Raúl. But I would say uh, don't go for one of the, the top tiers unless you go for Essien. Unless you really want Essien, you really want a solid CDM, I would say go for a couple of unlocks and I'd say go for Socrates and either one of these three or uh, Fernando Hierro. I think that we've got some great 5 to 13 unlocks here or, or 5 to 14 unlocks. I think that uh, they've done well there. The top tiers, I think, apart from Essien, is kind of a little bit underwhelming. And I think overall it's a bit underwhelming considering we've got Team of the Year around the corner. But I think that's that's sort of EA's plan. Now, uh, if you guys have enjoyed the video, leave a like down below and let me know down below who you guys go for. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you lads later.